Jesus. Jesus. Anyway, if I slip off now, that's me. Oh, is that what we're saying? <laughs> you not feeling that? One hour later. <laughs> All right, my G's, welcome back to another episode. Now we've burnt off some calories and built up an appetite. Let's get straight into this burrito breakfast recipe. Starting off with a simple guacamole, you want to mash an avocado into a bowl. Chuck some red onion in there, garlic granules, and a crack of salt. To that, add some fresh coriander and a touch of paprika. Set that aside and get started on your bacon. Now, I've gone for turkey rations just because I don't eat pork. However, if you're a pork eater, by all means, get that in the pan instead. While that's cooking, we're going to make something I like to call wilderness scrambled eggs. Now, the reason these are different to normal scrambled eggs is you don't stir them at all. You want to crack your eggs straight into the pan and leave them. Make sure it's a low heat and what will happen is the whites will cook quicker than the yolks. Just before you go to serve them, give them a slight bash about in your pot and those slightly undercooked yolks will make like a sauce around the whites. Give it a crack of salt and pepper and it is a sick way on how to make your scrambled eggs that little bit different. Get your beans on. <laughs> this is how we were cooking them while we were camping. Yeah, that didn't work. So you've got your bacon on, your eggs on, your beans on, your guacamole's made. It is now time to char off some cherry tomatoes. Once they're all soft and kissed by the fire, chuck them into your baked beans and squash them about the pan like this. To finish, just add some ripped up coriander and voila, it is time to make this bad boy. I started off with a couple seeded wraps, added a handful of leafy greens, hit it with that guacamole, a few cherry tomato beans, some of that not so usual scrambled eggs, and finally, our beautiful bacon strips. Now that is a breakfast burrito, mate. <laughs> It was a bit of a hassle trying to roll this up, but we got there in the end. And quick bites only. Whew! I just want to say thank you so much for watching this one. If you do like these more vloggy style adventure cooking episodes, let me know. And if you enjoyed that, I've got a couple other banging episodes for you to watch right now. Peace.